This is NDTV. And you're watching NDTV Hindu. Welcome to WeConnect. Today we are coming to you from the Kalakshetra Foundation and it's our very great pleasure to be talking with dancer-director Leela Sampson. Leela, thank you so much for having us thank here you. today. Uh, let's start with this book that you wrote on the founder of the Kalakshetra movement itself, Rukmini Devi. Now, how pleased are you with the acceptance of this book? Are you satisfied? Uh, well, I, I uh, haven't had any uh, adverse comments yet. Uh, the book actually is, uh, as I say, is, is so uh, well brought out, uh, if I may say so, even for a penguin, that, uh, and beautifully designed by Vinay Jain, that it almost has uh, visual and aesthetic acceptance straight away. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I don't know, a lot of people who have read it feel that it's an easy read. And I'm, I think I'm happy with that because I'm not a complex writer. I'm also not a historian. Uh, I am certainly not an expert in biographies uh, and it's a very difficult thing to write about uh, somebody so close to you or somebody who uh, certainly is a guru uh, because there's that much you can say and no more. Uh, there are a lot of things which have uh, been left unsaid and I've done it intentionally because really um, I don't think it's important. I think it's important to know uh, the contributions. Uh, and not get into the murkiness of it, if right. there ever was. Right. Uh, but however, having actually been her student, um, there must, there's obviously this warmth that would have uh, existed between you and Rupani Devi. So do you believe that you've brought out the essence of that warmth in your book? Um, I didn't put too much of myself in it, uh, Jennifer. Uh, Why not? Yeah, it, it was uh, something that uh, I mulled over for many years. It's been many years in the making. I actually finished writing it almost 18 years ago. Long time. <laughs> and uh, then uh, it went on to the back shelf for various reasons. Uh, things that happened here that upset me. Um, things that happened at home that were uh, not very pleasant. So, uh, but there was a moment when somebody came to me and said, if you put yourself in it, we'll take it. And I said, I can't have the two lives running. It's just not on. It, I, I, it was interesting, you know, a dancer viewing another dancer or a dancer viewing a great uh, revivalist of the dance itself. Uh, it's an interesting ploy, but it, it didn't work for me because I felt, you know, uh, we have so few biographies that are just straightforward, good biographies. We, none of us knew about Gandhiji. I mean, frankly, uh, we weren't told enough about him. Uh, his policies were talked about and things like that. So he, he became a figure that was, you know, there and not there. A distant figure yeah. in a way, really. We are, I think we'd like to know more about, you know, what the person, these people did, what they, they said, what their writings were. And there's a lot of that in it. Uh, it's almost like her speaking, which right. I'm not sure is a good biography. <laughs> <laughs> right. Let, let me move now to the foundation itself. Yeah. Uh, the credit goes to you for having actually brought this Kalakshetra Foundation uh, somehow um, more alive, if that's the appropriate word yeah. to use. Uh, would you like to accept that credit? Uh, I, I do because uh, it, in a sense, uh, not single-handedly, I can't do it of course alone. Uh, I have to admit that uh, uh, the impetus came from me, but, uh, and the change was a, uh, perhaps a, a good change at the, at the point in which it came about five years ago. Uh, but I have to say this for the young people who are here and who are now teachers who are under a lot of pressure from our ex-teachers and ex-students uh, of Kalakshetra who live around, who just kept saying they weren't good enough and you know, that they actually rose to the occasion. They, they uh, placed their faith in me, a tough call because they didn't know me. Yes. Uh, this is not the generation that grew up, you know, after me. They right. came much later. I was not there in the last 30 years just before this. So I didn't know these these uh, young people personally, not the student uh, uh, community, but not even the staff. And all my colleagues had passed on or had left the institute retired. So um, 
I have to say that they uh, they must take the credit for having walked the path with me. Right. Uh, it is it is tough because the institute was already in a groove, and frankly, uh, many people, you know, sometimes they almost will that something just stays the way it always was because they are reluctant to, about change. Yeah, really, they have these nostalgic uh, <laughs> memories of you know in a past time. I have those memories too, but I don't want the institute to stay there. That would be ridiculous. It's a, that means you know for a hundred years. It's already 75 years old, but for 100 years, do you want it to just stagnate in a, in, a, in the 1930s? It's not on. Right. It's not on. Uh, over the past five years since you've been here, we've seen a lot of changes. We've seen um, we've seen many art shows. We've seen craft exhibitions. We've seen contemporary dance, and we've just seen so many things. What do you believe would be uh, the overall acceptance for? I'm, and I'm not talking about the purists here. Mm. I'm just talking about here in Chennai. Chennai, it's like yeah. myself. We suddenly feel that well, Kalakshet is not quite yeah. as forbidding a place as it used to be. I don't want it to be a forbidding place. I think that was one of its biggest, uh, its biggest, uh, you know, uh, uh, that it had allowed itself to be viewed with so much uh, circumspe you know, yes. suspe suspicion. Uh, even the art community, the dancers, the senior artisans of the city had never walked into this place. There were people who said, "We've never been here ever." And uh, I find that very, uh, very disdainful. I really feel that uh, one, it, Kalakshetra should be uh, larger than itself. Uh, in its spirit, in its heart, uh, we can embrace so many more people into our fold. We don't want them to be, and I don't certainly want them to be Kalakshetrians. Uh, we've, we've, you know, got enough of those who are very stereotyped, very uh, cliched. Um, but the fact that the dance and the arts of India is larger than India even, you know, it's Indeed. spread all over the place. Right. We should be able to bring people in, enjoy the space. Uh, in fact, uh, this space being enjoyed by 25 odd people or even a thousand odd people is ridiculous. <laughs> it seems a bit unfair yeah, to it's the rest very of us. Very yes. unfair. Lena, we're going to just uh, go away for a very short while and we'll be right back with you because I'd like to talk very much more about this institution sure. itself. We'll be back in a moment and we'll continue our discussion with Leela Sampson here at the Kalakshetra Foundation.